Hello, myself Dr. Prasad Thelam. Continuing my class series on Biology for Engineers 21 DE 45. Module 2 or Chapter 2. Uh, second topic. Uh, first topic it was uh, Brain as a CPU system. Very interesting topic it was. The second one, I as a camera system. Our I, how it works as a camera system. Or uh, whether our camera system is better or our I is better. That comparison can be made uh, in this particular class series, uh, video series okay so the human eye can be an analogy to camera system both as uh, both the eye and camera capture light convert into an image okay uh, so that representation that uh, comparison it is given here a camera as well as an eye a card a diaphragm is there a pressure is the lens is there a, mm, that black point is there so that is also there in your eye system or Based on our eye system, the camera system is developed. You can compare in any way. Okay, so the main components of an eye which correspond to a camera system include the cornea. Uh, it's a transparent outer layer of the eye which functions as like a camera lens, bending light to focus it onto the retina. Uh, retina. So what is retina? So here is the retina. Okay, so you can see the retina. The iris. The iris function like the uh, diaphragm in a camera. Uh, controlling the amount of light that enters the eye the people the people functions like the aperture in camera adjusting the size to control the amount of light entering the eye the retina retina functions like the camera film or sensor capturing the light and converting it into electrical signal that are sent to the brain optical uh, nerve the optic nerve optic nerve functions like the uh, cable connecting the camera to a computer transmitting uh, the signal from the retina to the brain so in both eye and camera the captured light it is transformed to an image by the lens and uh, the light sensitive component uh, eye process the image further allowing for visual uh, perception while the camera it just stores the image for a later use it is very important note that eye is far far complicated uh, than uh, normal our uh, photo the camera system it has several additional functions such as adjusting for different levels of light adjusting uh, the focus which are not found in the camera system i also have the ability to uh, perceive the depth and color as well as adjust the movement and uh, provide a continuous real time image to the brain okay so uh, the anatomy of eye is given here the iris the pupil the cellula the muscle retina retina is this entire portion we call it as retina macula optic nerve okay then conjunctiva cornea lens everything that you all might have already studied just recall it okay so architecture of red and say rod and corn cells Okay, so in the retina, retina part, uh, there are further uh, road cells and corn cell. This part which is represented here, this entire region, it has got this type of uh, cells which are connected for uh, processing the image that is seen. Road cells are photoreceptors in the retina of eye which are uh, responsible for uh, detecting light and transmitting signal to the brain for the perception of vision. Uh, especially low light condition they contain a protein called rhodopsin and absorb light and triggers a chain of events leading to the activation of uh, neural signal roads are more sensitive to light than corn cells but do not uh, dis uh, distinguish color as well corn cells are photoreceptors uh, which are mainly responsible for the color vision and the uh, visual acuity sharpness of the vision they are there are three types of corn cells, each containing different photopigment sensitive to different wavelengths of light, like red, green, and blue, which allow for the perception of color. The corn cells are less sensitive to light than a road cell, but provide better visual acuity or color discrimination. They are concentrated in the fovea, the central part of retina, responsible for detailed and sharp vision. Architecture of uh, road and corn cells, if you see, you can see this is the uh, representation shape of a uh, road cell and a corn cell. Okay, you can see both type of cells have a 
photoreceptor out, uh, outer segment which contain a photopigment rhodopsin in rods and photopigment in quants okay so here it is rhodopsin is the here equal to as the photopigment only okay so the inner uh, segment contains cells organelles uh, including the nucleus and uh, mitochondria the major difference between uh, the rod and quant cell is their shape itself okay, you can see the difference in shape rod cells are uh, elongated uh, and uh, they are cylindrical uh, while quant cells are uh, shorter and more conical in shape the difference in sharp affect the distribution of uh, photopigments and the number of uh, synaptic contacts with the bipolar and uh, gangolian cells don't get confused okay so bipolar and uh, gangolian cells that is the continuation of that uh, road and con cells further it is connected to the bipolar cells then to the gangolian cells that means not further they are connected on the pathway of light it is there okay so you can see the light comes there it hit there gangolian cells are there bipolar cells there then road con take that uh, okay so this is the pigment layer for the pigment layer of that okay now the difference between road cell is the shape road along it that already said uh, difference in shape of a gangolian uh, bipolar and gangolian cell uh, which transmit the signal to the brain road cells have a, a single long outer segment while con cell have several shorter uh, segments that is also you can see in the image you can see another difference between uh, the two types of cell is the uh, distribution of their uh, synaptic contact with the bipolar cell rod cell make the synapses with uh, one bipolar cell while con cell synapses with uh, one of several bipolar cell so you can see the connection so here the con cells are connected to many but uh, the rod cell are connected uh, individually that is the uh, different one or other difference uh, between in the architecture of uh, uh, road and the con cells of the eye uh, road cells and con cells are important uh, that only give that light intensity as well as the color uh, uh, differences are uh, identified with those cells optical corrections this is one of the optical correction uh, <laughs> eye glass okay so optical corrections refer to the devices or techniques which are used to improve or correct uh, vision problems caused by a refractive error in the eye okay uh, actually i have uh, uh, myopia myopia means uh, near sight blindness means anything which are very close to me that become blurred okay a little bit far it is very proper uh, the system computer system uh, which i reading uh, uh, the word file i kept in uh, at uh, 130 130 percentage if i remove that one uh, i can see it but some blurness is there therefore this is an optical correction now optical correction means extra uh, lens it is added to that to support my eye lens okay so the different uh, type of uh, errors which is given first that myopia hyperopia and astigmatism that you may be knowing okay now how the correction optical correction can be done i can be done by using an eye glass with the corrective lens which can use to refocus light onto the retina improving the vision uh, corrective uh, lenses can be used which uh, directly we can put that lens inside uh, that we call it as uh, the contact lenses okay so corrective lenses in the form of uh, contacts uh, sit directly on the cornea and uh, work similar to eye glass and even we can do surgery surgery like uh, lasik surgery prk surgery and all very interesting topics actually lasik surgery means uh, will cut uh, one side cut the other side cut and make the uh, lens uh, proper uh, the cut and remove a part of uh, our uh, friend lens uh, whereas uh, prk it uh, drills and uh, make the required uh, corrections so roughly you can say these are the surgical procedures if you see in a eye surgery happening or is lasik surgery or prk surgery a rough idea you should have Okay, so optic corrections are uh, done uh, to get uh, better uh, uh, to do the uh, refractive errors. Refractive means something related to the light. Okay, so refractive uh, index and all you might have heard. Okay, so refractive errors uh, are done corrected with optical optical corrections. Now the cataract, cataract uh, that is that uh, 
cloudiness in our eye in the lens. A cataract is a clouding uh, of the lens of the eye that which affect the vision. The lens located behind the iris and people normally allow light to pass through the retina and uh, produces clear sharp image. However, as we age or due to other factors, the proteins in the lens can clump together and cause the lens to become opaque leading to vision problem. Okay, so what I have it is something related to cataract only started uh, developing the protein started um, uh, what is called a uh, clump. Uh, the proteins in present in that uh, eye lens started uh, clumping together. Uh, symptoms of cataract include uh, the blurred or hazy vision, uh, increased sensitivity to glare and uh, uh, bright light, uh, faded uh, or yellow color, uh, double vision in uh, one eye. Uh, cataracts can also cause frequent changes in uh, prescription for uh, eye glass or uh, contact lenses. Cataract surgery is common and uh, safe procedure to remove the cloudy lens and replace it with an artificial lens. A surgery it is typically performed on an uh, uh, outpatient basis and uh, most people experience improved vision within few days after the procedure. Just one month back only my father has gotten this operation very easy. Just go there uh, half an hour, one hour uh, they will uh, complete the work and uh, within uh, a week time uh, we will get it. <coughs> I'm sorry. I will get the proper vision. Okay. So, uh, in conclusion, uh, that is to uh, improve the vision. Okay. So, lens material. What are the materials used as a lens when we do the operation or replace it? Uh, PMMA polymethyl methacrylate can be used. It is a transparent plastic. But uh, it lacks uh, some of the flux uh, um, ability to flux and uh, adjust neurons. Uh, newer versions like, like silicon, silicon polymers are there, which can be used uh, as an intraocular lens. Intraocular lens means that what we put inside our uh, uh, IOL, we call it as IOLs. Mm, then uh, acrylic. Uh, uh, Acrylic uh, can be used, uh, it has got the same property as that of PMMA, um, but it is, uh, but it has got a better uh, flux, so it can be folded, therefore it can be used as IOL, that is intraocular uh, lens, that uh, lens material that we put inside, the we only handle uh, and keep inside, that is called as the IOLs. Hydrophobic acrylics are the uh, hydrophilic acrylics are the hydrophobic means water hating, hydrophilic means water loving. Okay, those are the materials which are used. Very interesting topic now. now artificial eye or bionic eye. So, a photo of one such a device it is given. This is not a normal eye. This is a device which is made uh, replicating or mimicking uh, that of uh, normal eye. So, it, it is a prosthetic device. Uh, uh, which is sub which is surgically implanted the entire eye if it is damaged it is replaced with uh, that particular uh, artificial eye okay the device typically consists of a camera a processor is there an electrode array which is attached to the retina the camera captures the images and sends signal to the processor which then uh, transmit electrical simulation to the electrodes in the retina to Stimulate uh, the remaining uh, healthy cells and uh, restore vision. The restored vision is not perfect, but it can help uh, people with the vision loss to perform some daily tasks more easily and uh, safely. The materials used like uh, silicon is used, uh, biocompatible materials are used, titanium, titanium alloys are used, conductive material like uh, iridium gold are used, polymers such as silicon or polyimides uh, are used for insulation purposes. Uh, Optical material like glass, acrylics uh, are used. Biocompatible and flexible material for the electrical uh, connection uh, between the camera and the process unit. Okay, how this bionic eye works that is represented, uh, the working uh, principle or working system of that is represented here. Okay, so I think you've got enough time to pause the video and read it out, or, or I can get how oh, it is went to that side. I don't like. Neatness is needed. Okay. This is an image that I can resize it. Okay, so this is the bionic eye. 
if you connected to a processor then go back of okay, camera captures image and sends the information to the microprocessor microprocessor uh, converts the data to electronic signal and uh, transmit it to the receiver then uh, number three receiver sends signal through a tiny cable to an electrode panel implanted by doctor on back wall of the eye or that means on the retina then the retinal uh, implant emits a pulse which travel through the optical nerve to the brain the brain perceives the patterns of light and dark which correspond to the electrode stimulates on the retina implant and they are able to see okay so that is about uh, the working uh, the same thing only given here so again i am not reading it uh, the restored vision is not so perfect uh, but it can help people to with the vision loss to perform the daily task more easily and see the same sentence was there earlier also okay so the amount and uh, quality of vision can be restored uh, it varies depending upon the individuals and the type of bionic eye being used some bionic eye only restore basic visual shapes and patterns uh, the bionic eye is powered by a battery that is typically implanted behind the ear the battery is recharged through a device which is held near the eye it transmits power wirelessly to the battery device is typically rechargeable and can be used for several years before it need to be replaced okay that's about uh, my this particular class video okay i think uh, we connected uh, our uh, some of the terms uh, which is pure biology connected to you people engineers i try to connect the terms to you so that you understood some of the concepts so how the ie system works and how it can be connected to your camera system engineer should know all those if not we already studied this is just reminding it if not then just go through it in detail and don't forget or don't please don't forget to press that subscribe button and like button then what is share button okay so for all to all the fourth semester uh, engineering students of uh, vtu karnataka because this is a compulsory subject for all the engineering branches of fourth semester on with the syllabus uh, subject code 21 be 45 biology for engineers so hope i did my part well i understood that the concept which is given in the syllabus i'll be continuing my class series uh, one module over second module uh, uh, second topic i covered now So thank you very much for watching me supporting me always uh, not the best